Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you, Tony? I'm good, I'm good. I'm 39, I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia. What do you do for a living? I'm a mental health therapist in the emergency room. Okay, do you have any children? Yes, I have a 13 year old son. Would you date a woman with children? Yes, ma'am. All right, describe your dream woman. Don't describe her looks. Somebody who's God fearing, affectionate, honest, loyal, committed, goal driven, and someone who I can connect with and grow with. What does she have to look like? Uh, I mean, just somebody who's uh, who's attractive looking. Somebody who I, who I can you know feel that I'm attracted attracted to. So uh, shouldn't have to be a certain color. For, for me, it's just you know just somebody who I'm attracted to. Uh, uh, somebody who I can look at, you know, <laughs> and be like, all right, yeah, I can see myself, you know, being with her. How much money does she have to make per year? Between 80 and up. Give us three deal breakers. Smoking, no goals, and somebody who's dishonest. Can you give me one reason why you think you're single? As a mental health, you said therapist, right? No. So you not only have done the work, but you are the work. You like literally help people through their problems. Yeah. So it should be much easier for you to identify like a good woman per se, right? I mean, yeah, but you know, with me, it's just been about connecting and finding the right one. So I mean, I have no trouble meeting somebody. It's just having the consistency of trying to be somebody. What do you mean by that, the consistency? Like you get to know somebody, we talk, and it's not—it it doesn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's just at a stagnant level. Okay. For example, if we ask, and the reason I'm I'm asking you more questions because I think there are so men have so many more options. Not only looks wise, but educated woman, submissive woman, feminine, masculine, whatever you're looking for, I feel like it's out there in abundance. What's one reason why you think the last, I guess, relationship or dating situation didn't work out? Inconsistency in communication. I mean, my end and uh, other parties end. So maybe you just wasn't that into her. Like after a while, you was like, mm, this is not a fit. Right. Okay. When you are in a relationship, do you go 50 50 or are you fu fully providing for the person you're with? When I'm in a, a relationship, get married. I'm going to be the 100% provider. Okay. Where can this, well, oh, would you relocate for love? Yes, I will. And I'm 6'5 as well. Okay. Where can this woman find you on social media? What is your handle? On Facebook, my name, Tony Simpson. Instagram, 6'5 spelled out S I X 5 F I V E underscore handsome spelled H A N D S U M. Thank you for coming up. Keep us updated. Thank you for having me. Welcome in. Is Nafi? Is that how I pronounce it? Um, yes, it's Nafi. Welcome, Nafi. Your age and where you're located. Um, I'm 24 years old and I am located in Houston, Texas. What a girl, what what's is Texas on the feet? Did they send a mass signal out to Texas? Everyone has been here who have come up tonight has been from Dallas or Houston. Well, I can't um, stop. Mm -hmm. The dating scene is a little hectic over here, so um, I'm guessing people are just looking elsewhere, which is normal. Um, how old are you again? I'm 24 years old. What do you do for a living? Um, I work in conservatorship for the state of Texas. Do you have any children? No, I do not. I'm single, unmarried, no children. Would you date a man with children? No. All right. Describe your dream man. Do not describe his looks. Um, my dream man is someone who is ambitious, um, someone who is educated, someone who is family oriented, a religious man, a Muslim, um, a leader, and someone hard working and working towards their goals consistently, as in life goals, career goals, family goals amongst other things what does he have to look like um well i'm 5 mm -hmm. and i'm plus size so um i would like a man that's tall preferably not even preferably i want someone that's black if he's dark skinned that's a plus yeah a tall man handsome you know easy on the eyes
How much money does he have to make per year? More than me. Um, I'm entry level, so I just graduated in 2022. So I'm like, this is my first step of my career goal. I want to become a therapist, which I'm working on my master's. Definitely more than me, but that's something like more of a personal conversation. So in the six figures and up, because I make about six figures already. You don't have to tell me how much you make, but you can give me a range of how much he should make without including how much you make. So 90,000 and up, but I'm also not opposed to 70, 80,000 because, you know, these days it's, it's crazy out here, but yes. Give me three deal breakers. Um, someone who's not on their dean, and I guess my Muslim, um, Muslim people will get that. So someone who is not practicing their religion and being a man in their religion, someone who is a liar. So, you know, things may happen in life, but things can happen and you can consistently be working to fix those issues instead of just being stagnant, stagnant when they happen. Um, a liar. Give me one reason why you think you're single. Uh, I think I'm single because I have been focusing on myself. I was in um, a relationship about a year ago in 2022 it was about to be two years and i came out of that relationship choosing myself and i worked on myself because we always say why did this relationship not work out it's the man or he did this to me he did that to me but when you really take some time and reflect you realize that you know it's a two-way street so just because you think that he has stuff to improve that doesn't mean that you don't have things that you need to improve on so i stepped back took some time to improve a lot of things. And then now I'm looking forward to, you know, also bringing the same thing that I would want a man to bring to the relationship. Cause you can't ask for something that you can't, that you're not bringing to the relationship. You just need a space to work on yourself. And now you're ready to put yourself back out there. Let me ask you, Nafi, you haven't found any Muslim men. You no. haven't found any at all. That's hard to believe. Okay. Houston is horrible. Um, the dating scene is mostly filled with um, men trying to have sex with you, clubbing, um, just temporary things. And I'm not looking for temporary. I'm looking for long term. I'm looking for marriage. Um, you said you need someone who's on their dean, which in your religion means someone who's focused, who's, you know, doing what they need to do. So why are you in the club? No, no, no. I said that's what the men are looking for. Oh, OK. <laughs> I know you're not in the club. No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay, all right. So you haven't found any Muslim men, none. Not at this time. And I I don't know if you allow us to address the comments. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I just saw somebody say, have I looked at the mosque? I don't go to the mosque looking for men. Um, Muslim women are not supposed to look for men. A man is supposed to look for you. Um, it doesn't work the same as dating. So I, I don't go to the mosque going to see a man. I go to the mosque to pray and ask God to fulfill my prayers. Um, so yeah. All right, would you relocate for love? Yes, I would, but it does depend on a lot of things, so, but I would. Where can this man find you, Nafi? What is your handle? Spell it out. Um, my handle on Instagram is N-A-F-Y underscore T-A-F-Y, and then I just have TikTok um, as my second social media. Keep me updated, okay? I will. Bye, darling. All right, bye-bye. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jean. Hi, it's actually Jean. How are you? I'm good, Jean. Can you turn on your camera? Sorry, I was just going through TikTok randomly, so I came across this, and I saw that you're discussing stuff. What are you guys discussing, actually? Well, this is a dating show. You came just in time. Are you ready? Wait, what? <laughs> Come on, Jean. Oh. You ready for the dating show? Mm -hmm. We have your name. How old are you and where are you located? Wait, 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 wait. Did I just walk into a dating show? You didn't even walk in. You requested. Yeah, I requested because I thought you guys were like discussing various interesting topics. I didn't know I was just going to be thrown into. Jean, okay. when in Rome. Um, Mm -hmm. All right, cool. What's up? So what are you guys, okay, what is the process of your um, your show? Okay, so we have your name. How old are you and where are you located? 
Oh, okay. Um, I'm 33. I'm based in South Africa for the moment, but I'm not South African. I'm Congolese, actually. I grew up here. Um, do you have any children? No, no, no kids yet. My goal is to have children in wedlock. Alrighty. What do you do for a living? I'm a creative director for a marketing agency. On certain days and weekends, I MC certain events, so from club events to corporates, and do voiceover work here and there. So yeah, that's what I do on the side. But besides that, I'm a creative director for a marketing company. Okay, and you're you're. No, I'm not married. No. Okay. Describe your dream woman. Don't describe her looks. First things first, I'm Christian. I don't believe in mixing religions no, because I've got my fundamentals and my mm -hmm. values and I set them straight away. Once we look at that, we definitely then um, move on forward. And somebody's asking if I'm single. Yes, I am. No, she has to be Christian. Um, I also genuinely just prefer someone who's very respectful. You got to respect your parents or in some cases, some people only have one side of the family, whether they were their mom or their parents and their siblings. And I think from there, we can have a conversation because somebody who does not have family is not someone who's going to want to have a family. So, yeah. Okay. And um, what does she have to look like? I love me my black queens, so I prefer a black queen, preferably. So, yeah. See, and when you are in a relationship with this person, with this woman, um, are you 50-50 kind of guy or are you open to fully providing? Genuinely, a man has to provide. That's your job. That's your role. As a Christian man, your role is to provide and protect, love, provide and protect. So if a woman is blessed on a financial perspective, for example, that's really about how she goes about everything. And I think how you guys run your household is concerning the both of you. It concerns no, it concerns no one outside that circle because the moment you let the outer, the outer party try influence you, then it really does not work to your favor. So I genuinely believe in providing in the best way possible. And when I have the means on what, what I'm trying to build with you, we take it from there. I'm not disputing the fact that some women would want to show up more for their partner. And if you're showing up for your partner, great. But a woman really only shows up more for the man, depending on how they're treated. So it really goes down to how you treat her. And then she can reciprocate on how she will treat you. If you don't treat her right, even with the minimal stuff that you may have in this world, then and also, I love me a woman who can dress modestly and not to try to be all out flashy for the whole world to see. Because if you're mine, then why are you trying to sell so much for the world when all of that belongs to me? That's really just how I am as a man. I'm not sick. I can't look sexy, but you can look sexy at every moment that you choose to be. But remember that you belong to me. Your hoodies are mine, same as me being yours, spiritually, physically, sexually, emotionally. So what is mine is mine. I'm not out here trying to share. You be out there looking like anyone can grab you because we all know how my gender is out there in the world. Every man can be an asshole, but when you belong to someone that just have that respect for them. Okay, so a modest woman. Can you give us one reason why you think you're single? I was with someone. She moved to another country. And the long distance did not work. Why did she decide to move? I'm sure she thought you were a great fit. And usually if a woman is invested, she'll stay, you know? She's like, oh, Jean is great. I'm not going anywhere. This is my future husband. What made her leave? Um, she, had a, she had a work opportunity abroad, actually in New York. And it worked out for her. So okay. that happened. We tried to make it work for a long distance period and it didn't work out and you know and life happened and she chose to end it and we moved on how long has it been since you've been single it has been a year and four months now and it's still a struggle to find a woman i guess over this last absolutely. year no absolutely not i've just derived my attention in focusing on my career
and building what I'm what I have to build. And until the right queen comes along, of course, I have been dating here and there, but yeah, just taking my time until uh, you find someone amazing. Okay. Would you relocate to love? Well, if it's worth it, yeah, why not? Can this woman find you on social media? What is your username? Oh, it's my name and surname right there. And also, I'm on Instagram also, same name. All right, thank you for coming up. All right, you guys. Thank you, everyone, for coming up. Yeah. Hi, Hi, are you ready, Emmanuel? You can hear me. Yes. I'm trying to, I guess, let's go down something. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So, how old are you and where are you located? I said I'm 25 and I live in Nigeria. What do you do for a living? I'm an event planner, I'm a realtor, and I'm also a project, a, a project manager. Okay, all right. Emmanuel, you were up here last time. You didn't have any luck the last time you were up here. Yeah, I didn't have any luck. Do you have any children? No, I don't have any children. Would you date a woman with children? Mm, it depends. If, she, if the vibe is right, I don't mind. Describe your dream woman. Don't describe her looks. I like someone that's ambitious, someone that's 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 very kind, someone that's caring, someone that's has a very good value about family and everything. What does she have to look like? I don't. I'm not really someone that go after like shape or something, but she just has to look like very presentable. Very presentable. So I put herself together, dress nice. I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't know. Nice someone that dress nice and nice has a very good hygiene. When you meet this woman and you are in a relationship with her, are do you fully provide or do you go 50-50? I'm a Nigerian man, I provide. But if okay. she wants to support, that's, if she wants to support, that's on her. But I'm a Nigerian man, I provide. Give me three deal breakers. Sorry? Three deal breakers. Oh, I don't, have, I don't like people that don't have good hygiene. Smells good, who showers, that kind of thing. Yeah, wear nice clothes, look very nice, look very sharp, and all of that. And I don't like lies, I don't tolerate lies at all. Okay, no lies. Hygiene was the third one. You just be very, very straightforward, be very honest. Does she have to make a certain amount of money per year? I don't care about your money. Can you give me one reason why you think you're single? I'm very picky. Okay, what makes you picky? Because I know what I want in a woman, so that makes me very picky. But from from what you describe, you just said a nice woman who has good hygiene and a good heart. So that doesn't seem like super picky or hard to find. Why it's do you very, think it's, it's very it's very it's very difficult to find women that have strong family values lately? I'm very big on values, on family values. Like you need to see yourself being able to like keep up with family in the long run. Okay, so someone with strong family values, that's what you're struggling to find in Africa? No, come on now, Emmanuel. No. Sorry? That's hard to find in Africa. I mean, a lot of ladies lately, they just want to have fun for the now and they don't, they don't care about the future. So, so that means you're attracting fun. That means that's what you're looking for too. They say we are what we attract. I'm not looking for fun. I look like I'm looking for fun. That's the problem. Oh, okay. I'm not, so I'm not looking for fun. Why not go to the church and date one of the nice church girls who are conservative? They're not flashy. They don't show anything, and they're ready for marriage and they're ready to settle down. Why not go for that kind of girl? You said, sir, I should go to the church. Yeah, the church girl, the girl who's quiet, the the girl who's you know who's very modest what about those girls who don't go to the club who don't party not everybody in the church are like good people but what about the ones that are that's what i'm saying well i've not really like put myself out there looking for someone that's that's another thing i've not like put myself out there in the dating world but okay, when i was so in i've been in life for a couple of times now and then i just feel like okay let me try and like talk to me in life or something 
So you haven't put yourself out there. Okay, would you relocate for love? It depends. Right? Where can this woman find you on social media? Please give us your handle. My name, my name is the same everywhere. Okay. What what's your name everywhere? Is it you U S I O M O N Emmanuel? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Emmanuel. Request to join a live.